Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can update your Raspberry Pi to boot from a USB or an SSD. Now I'm going to be doing this with the Pi OS 64-bit software. Now you might be asking, why bother doing this? Well, there's a number of reasons, but the main reason is speed. So by default, the Raspberry Pi boots up and stores all of its programs on a micro SD card. Now this has a maximum bandwidth of 50 megabits on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now by using a USB drive or an SSD, you could speed this up by a factor of two. Okay, to begin with, we need to open up a command prompt and type the following command. Now this will do a full upgrade on our Raspberry Pi software. And depending on the speed of your network, it may take a few minutes. So to save you waiting, I've speeded this up. Now at this prompt, it'll tell you to reboot at the end. So click on OK and let it finish off. Once you get to the command prompt, all you do is reboot. Okay, so once it reboots, we need to update the bootloader to the latest version. Now this latest update will let the Raspberry Pi boot from USB or SSD. So at the command prompt, we type the following command. Now taking a look at this, where it says critical, we need to change this to stable. And then type Ctrl X and save. And we can double check that it has in fact changed the file. Just retype the command and check it. So that's confirmed. Now to actually update the firmware, we need to type the following command. And this will actually just take a few moments to update. And then like it says, you just need to reboot to apply the update. Okay, so back on your computer, you need to install your Pi OS 64-bit software onto your SD card or SSD. Now I'm using the Pi Imager to do this. You could also use Belina Etcher. So you need to have downloaded the Pi OS 64-bit version. I've left links in the description below. Under Choose OS, select Use Custom and navigate to where you downloaded the Pi OS 64-bit version and select it. Now under the Choose SD card, make sure you choose your USB drive or SSD. And then just give it a few minutes to download and install and then verify. You can then remove your USB drive. Okay guys, so currently this is my setup. I've got the Pi 4 in a metal flake case. I've got my Logitech keyboard and mouse attached to the dongle. And here you can see I'm going to remove the SD card with the OS on it. And I'm going to put my USB stick with the OS operating system into the USB port. And I'll now power it up. And you just need to give it a few moments to spark into life. And then after a few moments, you should get the following message. And that is that it's resized the root file system and that it's rebooting. And now that's it guys, you are now officially set up to boot up from a USB stick or an SSD. So now we just set up as usual, get rid of those black borders, enter your keyboard preferences and your new password and you're set to go. Now for general use, I found the USB stick I was using gave me a boost of around 25% in speed. So overall it's worthwhile to do this little project as it is being officially supported. So guys, as always, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.